In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. We come together this morning to continue to celebrate Mass virtually on this um, on this, this blessing of technology that we have to be able to do this as I continue my time in quarantine until this weekend. Again, we're doing this so that we can continue to fulfill the Mass intentions, so that we can continue to recognize the importance of the Holy Mass in connection with the Eucharist. And so even though we are not able to receive the Eucharist, and that we're not able to receive the Eucharist as a part of Mass today. We continue to pray, um, none the same for our, nonetheless for ourselves, and that we can soon be back in normal circumstances. On this day, we celebrate the feast of Saint Josephat, who is a bishop and martyr of the Eastern Church in union with the West, and a great example of giving his life for the faith and of uniting us within the Church. And so, under his intercession and inspired by his example, brothers and sisters. Let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Stir up in your church, we pray, O Lord, the spirit that filled St. Joseph at, as he laid down his life for his sheep, so that through his intercession we too may be strengthened by the same spirit and not be afraid to lay down our lives for others. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul, to, the, to, of Saint Paul to, to Philemon. Beloved, I have experienced much joy and encouragement from your love, because the heart of the Holy Ones have been refreshed by you. Therefore, although I have the full right in Christ to order you to do what is proper, I rather urge you out of love, being as I am Paul, an old man, and now also a prisoner for Christ Jesus. I urge you on behalf of my child Onesimus, whose father I have become in my imprisonment, who was once useless to you, but is now useful to both you and me. I am sending him, that is, my own heart, back to you. I should have liked to retain for myself him, so that he might serve me on your behalf in my imprisonment for the gospel. But I did not want to do anything without your consent, so that the good you do might not be forced, but voluntary. Perhaps this is why he was away from you for a while, that you might have him back forever, no longer as a slave, but as more than a slave, a brother, beloved, especially to me, but even more so to you as a man and in the Lord. So if you have regard for me as a partner, welcome him as you would me. And if he has done you any injustice or owes you anything, charge it to me. I, Paul, write this with my own hand. I will pay. May I not tell you that you owe me your very self? Yes, brother, may I profit from you in the Lord. Refresh my heart in Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Alleluia. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who were bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Alleluia. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the vine, and you are the branches, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me, and I in him, will bear much fruit. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus said in reply, The, kingdom, the coming of the kingdom of God cannot be observed, and no one will announce. Look here it is, or there it is, for behold, the kingdom of God is among you. 
Then he said to his disciples, The days will come when you will, know, when you will long to see one of those days of the Son of Man, but you will not see it. There will be those who will say to you, Look, there he is, or look, here he is. Do not go off, do not run in pursuit. For just as lightning flashes and lights up the sky from one side to the other, so will the Son of Man be on this day. But first he must suffer greatly and be rejected by this generation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the Gospel today, Jesus gives us a very stern warning. This is often seen as a passage in reference to the Antichrist, as someone who takes the place of Christ, who people think is the Savior of the world, and who people think will bring them to a place of happiness where they want to be, but ultimately is working in union with the evil one. But even, I think, less dramatic than that, which is an end of the time, right? you know, an end times reference and what is foretold to happen before the second coming, what Christ is also telling us is that when people point to someone and say, look, there he is, or look, here he is, be it a politician or a leader or um, a great a social media influencer or someone famous, whoever it might be, when we point to another human being and say, look, there is the one for us to follow, that should always, always give us pause. Now, it's one thing to point to the saints. It's one thing to point to other people as examples of how we should follow God and Christ. But when we are looking to them to be the ones that we give our loyalty to, that we give ourselves to, to take us to the promised land, whatever it might be, that is a false promise. And in some sense, we are always let down when that happens. Again, there's a difference between following the example of a good person who themselves are exemplary in following Christ and following someone because they think, or because we think that they have all the answers and they're going to lead us somewhere that only God can lead us, which is to our true homeland, our true promised land. So let us always engage in the world and do what we can to make the world a better place, but never put our faith in the world, especially never put our faith in the world's leaders and those that the world holds up as examples to be followed or as saviors, because they never are. And it's always the case that we are better served following only Christ. And let us now bring our prayers of, the, of petition before the Lord. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop, Charles Thompson, and all the shepherds of the church, that they might be examples in following the one true shepherd, Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our world, that it be a place of peace and justice and the kingdom of God it can take root and become visible. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those who are struggling during this time, financially, with sickness, with hardship, and for all of those who are so affected by the great unrest in our country, that peace might be brought to the hearts of all men and women. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for our beloved dead, that until we join them, they intercede for us at the right hand of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for the intentions of Peggy and David Allen, for whom this Mass is intended. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear these our prayers and to grant them according to your divine will. For we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. 
Most merciful God, pour out your blessing upon these offerings and confirm in us the faith that St. Josephat professed by the shedding of his blood through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. Their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle the victory is yours, through Christ our Lord. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we with all the host of angels and saints praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us now pray the prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. And let us pray. May this heavenly table, O Lord, bestow on us the gift of spiritual fortitude and peace, so that following St. Josephat's example, we may willingly spend our lives working for the honor and unity of the Church through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Again, we will have one more Mass posted virtually for tomorrow, and then this weekend, God willing, the schedule will be back to normal, and I will be there with all of us to celebrate our weekend Masses. Thank you all very much, and God bless.